Hey, welcome again. So in this particular video, we'll be talking about how can you manage your different routes, right? So in your web application, if you're or a mobile application, if you're creating a large scale application, so there will be so many routes, right? But keeping them in a single file doesn't make any sense because see, one application serves a lot of purposes, right? So if you're in an e-commerce application, so not only you will get phones over there, but you will get other gadgets as well. You will get earphones, you will get books, you will get other uh, uh, items, right? So to manage every route, keeping all the endpoints in a single file doesn't make any sense. So for that, what we can do is we can basically create different routes for different categories, right? So uh, that we are going to see in this video that how can you create different category, different routes and you can use them uh, in your application, right? So what I will be doing is uh, I'll just go into this uh, get and post dot JS file. This is the file where we are working. Uh, Right, so uh, we have seen route parameters also over here. So this is basically the route parameter code that we wrote, right? So uh, what I will do is I will just create one separate file, right? So let me just remove this particular uh, nested details from here. Let's keep this object a little simple, right? Uh, like that. All right. So now let me just format this code once. All right, so this is basically the code that we are working with, right? So uh, here you can see we have three objects and all the methods that we use. So now what I want to do is basically I want to create one route that will be specifically for these movies and which will have all of these methods and uh, we can perform all of these methods, right? So what you can do is we can, I, I, I will just create one routes folder. I have created one routes folder that you can see. And inside this I have created one file movies.js. So what I will basically do is I'll pick all of this code. Right. I'll pick all of this code that uh, you're seeing over here and I'll basically pass it down to uh, this movies.js file, right? So let's do that. So from here, from this particular array to all these methods, right? Okay, so we don't want to pass this particular line. So let's just skip it. Let's pass all of these methods first. So I'll just copy and I'll pass this. And now what I want is I want this particular array over there. So I'll just cut it from here and I will pass it over here like that, right? So let me just fix this. Yep. All right. So this is how basically uh, I have uh, all of the movie related uh, functionalities over uh, in this particular file. Right. And now what we want to do is we need to configure uh, some of these things to basically make this router work and basically uh, tell this get and post.js file to make this router work from here as well. Right. Let me just uh, remove all of this code from here and let's see what all we have to do. All right. So first things first, what we need to do is we need the router from express over here. Right. So what I will do is I'll just say const express. So basically from inside the express, we need the router. So I'll just directly uh, bring out the router, right? Const router equal to require, right? And express. So from inside this express, we are basically requiring this router. And basically uh, this router uh, will be helping us to have all of these functionalities, right? So let's check this out. So what I will say, I'll just say const router. I'll just create one variable and I'll call this method over here. Right. So this particular router method, this particular router method will give us all the functionalities that uh, we should have inside the router. And now by this particular method, right. So let me just show you once. So whenever I type router dot, so you will see that I can use every method uh, from uh, JavaScript with this particular variable, right. So you see call apply bind and if you see I say get or if I say post, so I can use uh, the HTTP method as well. Right. So this is basically uh, the router method, right? So it will give us all the functionalities that we can use. So now we do not have app over here because this is one single route. So what we will do is we'll change this app with router like that. Router and here also router, right? But uh, doing uh, only this will not work. So basically uh, we have created uh, this uh, whole route over here. So what we need to do is we also need to export this particular route so that we can use this in our main file. That is basically the get and file, right? So what I will do is I'll try and I'll export this module. So I'll say module.exports and we have to export the router. 
Now this is how we have exported the router. Now we need to use this router over here. So how can we basically have this? How can we import this? So we'll just say const movie router. And inside this movie router, we'll just say require. And we'll just pass routes and from here movies, right? So basically this particular file we are requiring over here uh, on this movie router uh, variable, right? So now we need to use this movie router to call our endpoints. So how we can do that? Let's see. So now here we just need to use this method that is app.use and inside this use we need to pass this particular movie router. So what we'll do is we'll just pass the movie router over here, right? This is done and now let's just run our server. So I'll just open this with integrated terminal and I'll say node mon. Uh, get and post .js. Let's run this and our server is running in 8000. Now let's go back to Postman and let's remove everything from here, right? So uh, basically let's try to hit this endpoint and see that it, uh, that uh, if it is still working or not. So I'll just press the send button. And now you see that it is still working. We are getting all the movies. And now if I uh, give any name, so let's check for that as well. So I'll just pass transformers and here I'm getting the transformers object as well, right? So our route is working over here. So if we see that this is how what we can do is we can uh, have a separate route for a separate category, right? So here we have created a one route for movies, right? And uh, now similarly, you can create different routes. So if I say that uh, I have a new file, right? And I say that this is for songs. So this route will be for songs and I'll just uh, copy all of this code from over there, from over the movie router. I'll just paste it over here, right? And let me just change this with uh, some songs detail, right? So let's just pass uh, some songs over here, right? So I basically uh, replaced the movie's name with some songs names and this is basically a songs route. So I'll just change the routes to songs. Here I'll just change this to songs and here I'll just change this to songs. Right. This is basically another one of your routes, right? So we'll use this route over here as well. So how you can use that? You can just say const songs route, right? This is basically a songs route. And we need to require route songs. In just a second. Routes and songs, right? So here we can require uh, the songs route and now we can use this similarly. So we'll just say app.use and inside this app.use we'll pass songs route. Like that, right? So whenever we'll be uh, using this songs route, so let's check the songs out as well. So I'll just uh, remove everything and I'll just uh, pass songs over here, right? Let's just send. And now you see you have all the songs detail over here. Right. So this is how you can basically separate your routes in different folders. Right. So let's uh, clean this code a little bit. Right. So what also you can do over here is you can pass one default uh, parameter if you want. You can pass one prefix parameter if you want. Right. So if you uh, want to do that, you can just do that over here as well. Right. So how can you do that? Let's check out. So you basically can pass a string over here like that. Uh, let me just do this. Yeah. So now inside this string, you can pass a prefix that this will, this will be the prefix for the movie route. Uh, this will be the uh, prefix for the songs route and uh, like that. Right? So let me just make this as a router. All right. So uh, what you can do is you can pass some prefix. So let me just pass some prefix. So these prefix are generally static in nature. So what I will do is I'll just pass API version one. You may have seen this particular format. Right. So this is basically API uh, version one and then movie router. So the movie router has uh, the movie route, right, has all the movie routes. So uh, to remove that, we can also say we can just pass in movies over here, because if you see in the movie route, every route has this uh, movies first. Right. So what we can do is we can just remove movies from here. Right. So let me just remove movies and let me just remove movies. So something like that. Right. So, uh, all right. Let's just have this slash over here as uh, just right. So we have removed all the movies and we have just added movies in the prefix. So now uh, this will work. Right. I hope this will work. So let's go back to Postman. Let's change this to movies. And okay, we get, uh, we did not get it. So basically, we need to remove that slash. I guess. So let's just go back, and we'll just remove this slash. Right. 
let's keep this empty and let's send it okay so we are not able to get this so let me just check okay so we had we need to add the api right uh, we need to add the whole prefix over here so we'll just go back and yep so we need the whole prefix so we will just add this prefix right so i'll just copy this and i'll add this uh, here something like that right so let's just send and now you see you're getting all the movies right so you're getting all the movies and uh, if i again go and i pass uh, one transformers i hope i should get this again i'm getting this right correct so this is it. This is how we can actually uh, go over and we can have this as prefix. So let's keep this prefix over here as well. Right. So what I will do is I'll just uh, post, I'll just uh, add a prefix for the songs. So I'll just add songs over here. Right. And inside the songs, I'll just remove all of these endpoints that we do not need anymore. And from here as well, we can remove this, right? So basically, uh, this is how you can actually uh, separate your each and every route from each other. So this is a file that contains all your movie routes. This is a file that contains all your songs out and you can use this in your main uh, application, right? By just uh, importing them from uh, their respective files, their respective places, right? So this is basically how you can uh, create your routes. I hope you like this video. And uh, if you like this video, do subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends and keep supporting us. We are coming with so much more content in the future. Thank you so much. See you soon.